welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. So, a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as it pertains to your love life. Week of April 5th through the 11th. At the end of the reading, guys, I am going to answer a yes or no question for you guys. So, think about that question while we're going through the reading here. So, you have it ready at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. Overall energy, Six of Cups. If you need anything at all, personal reading, social media info, everything that you need to know is in the description of this video as well as the about me section. Feel free to hit me up, guys. Past energy is the sun. I will show these to you guys again as I read them, okay? Present energy, two of coins. Immediate future for Pisces. Oh, the Empress. Nice. You've got a lot here. I just have to say right off the top, I'm not even done pulling. You now have, you have what it looks like to me, the Sun, the Six of Cups, and the Empress with the Two of Coins in the middle. Okay, so Six of Cups can be children. The Sun and the Empress can be a baby. The Two of Coins can be a decision about a pregnancy. Not going to be for everybody, but it's it's there for somebody, and it's staring at me, so I had to say it, okay? Let's move on. Potential obstacles, the Seven of Cups reversed. All right, let's start here, guys. Okay. <clears throat> if you haven't watched my readings before or this particular weekly spread, it's different than the monthly, which are already posted, so check that out if you haven't already. Um, but for this particular spread, the overall energy is the person I'm reading for. It would be your energy. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you or someone that you're dealing with, okay? So you are in this Six of Cups energy, so you're reminiscing. You might be reminiscing about like a past soulmate or just about like when life was easier, more fun. It's a very nice, sweet energy. All right, let's see what else is happening here with the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups. The Three of Swords and the Page of Wands reverse. So you might be thinking about someone that you already dealt with that, that caused some heartbreak for you here. Um, and with the Page of Wands reversed, it could have been because they uh, were like sex texting somebody or something, or maybe they just stopped communicating with you. Or you did that to them. All right. Um, if this isn't somebody from your past in this life, <coughs> it could be past life connection. But you are in that Three of Swords energy with the Page of Wands reversed. So it's it's a hurt feeling. And I think it's, it's hurt because somebody is like not talking to you or you had to cut off communication with them for some reason. Let's see here. And the Seven of Swords. So that's, that's deception. Somebody was lying here. Somebody could have been lying about sex texting somebody. So you might just be reminiscing about, you know, when this was like a happy connection. When it wasn't that somebody had lied, um, tried to get away with something, you know. Let's get one on that Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords reversed. So this is you kind of putting an end to the overthinking, overanalyzing, the paranoia, whatever was there, it's kind of like you find, you find out and now you're like just kind of releasing yourself from even thinking about it, even worrying about it. You know what I mean? Um, it's like you're in, you're in this mental prison and you're overthinking and overanalyzing and trying to find stuff out. But then when you do, it's like, well, okay, now I know, now I can, I can release it be hurt, and then I'll heal. You know what I mean? Um, you have a lot of air energy here, guys. Now, in the recent past, though, you've got the sun, right? So this was happy. This was, like, the happiest at one point, and that's what I mean with that Six of Cups. You're probably looking back on a time when this was, like, the best thing in the world. In the present, you've got the Two of Coins, the Capricorn energy. This is that decision-making. So somebody's kind of, like, juggling two options here or trying to bring everything back into balance 
What is this two of coins for Pisces? The king of cups. Look at that. There you are. Um, your energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio. It's trying to bring emotional balance back. Um, trying to keep everything like afloat, you know? Because there is a lot going on like in your emotions. But you're holding it down. You're holding it together. Um, I think that, you know, again, you might have been in your feelings for a while stress the hell out because you didn't know what was going on if something was really going on or if you were just being paranoid but then once you find out yeah it hurts but now I can get my shit back together you know now I don't have to worry about it anymore because now I know let's get another one here this king of cups could also be somebody that you're dealing with another water sign probably Knight of Cups against the King of Cups. So, yeah, that could be just a whole other person coming in that, you know, wants to take you out. The Knight of Cups is like a, a new love offer. Either you're giving it or somebody is offering you something. It, it's like dating. Like somebody wants to take you out. It's that kind of thing. And it's like knight in shining armor. Can be female. Doesn't matter. Um, it's real romantic, real flirty. It is young, but it's up against the king. So it's like... Mm. one of you is kind of coming in as a knight and one of you is a king so there is like kind of like an emotional um like out of proportion feeling there it, but it's just a maturity level one of you is more mature than the other one emotionally can be an age difference but it can just be like emotion wise right you know what I mean you can have like somebody at 60 years old but they have the emotional maturity level of a 12 year old it doesn't matter really the age. It's the maturity level. but And I think with the two of coins, it's kind of like a decision. Like, do I want to deal with this person? Because I don't think they're really at my level. But they could get there, you know? All right. <clears throat> In the future, you have the Empress. Libra Taurus energy. So this is awesome energy, guys. Divine feminine energy. Um, actually, who did I just do? Cancer, I think, had the Emperor in their future. So... If you could be, if you're dealing with a cancer, then you guys are matching up pretty well with the emperor and the empress in the future. Anyway, with the empress here, again, like I said before, with all these energies, somebody could be getting pregnant here, whatever. Um, but mostly though, with the empress, it's, it's divine feminine, it's being abundant, it's growth. It's like watching a connection grow and watching it bloom. Um... She has all the qualities of all the queens in the deck. Exactly what you would want in a person that you're going to be in a relationship with. Maternal energy, obviously. With the Queen of Pentacles reverse, that's interesting. Okay, so here's the thing. Queen of Pentacles is kind of like the minor to the Empress, right? So to have her reversed, it's like somebody, I think somebody's afraid of commitment here. Queen of Pentacles is non-committal, unstable, but that's not where you're at. So either the other person, you're coming in as like the Empress. They're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Like I said before with the King of Cups and Knight of Cups, there's like a, again, it could just be an age difference, but Five of Wands reversed. So there's no drama. You guys don't argue. It's just, I think somebody, and it might just be that they're like bad with their money, can't hold a job or something. But there's no real drama over it. It's like, um, I, I think that you just kind of recognize that they might not be where you are yet. And it's cool. It's not that serious. It's not anything that, to be dramatic over anything. It just is what it is. All right. Now, in your potential obstacle, you have the Seven of Cups reverse Scorpio energy. Um, this is clarity. Somebody needs to get real clear about what they want here, what their motivations are, what they're trying to manifest in their love life. Um, with the Seven of Cups, it's it could just be that somebody has a lot of options. But more so, it's like living in a fantasy world, being a little delusional, a little like... Um, a little too dreamy like not living in the real world and I think that that's the other person like that's very knight of cups energy real romantic real flirty but like it's kind of 
Um, not, huh, I don't even know how to say it without like being offensive and I'm not trying to offend anybody. Um, it's like kind of like seeing the world like like not how it really is. And I don't mean to like make anybody feel like shit, you know what I mean? It's, it's okay to fantasize or whatever, but you have to like look at the situation for what it is as well. All right, let's get you some advice, guys. Advice for Pisces in love. The Magician Reverse. Um, okay. If you are having trouble manifesting what it is in your love life that you want, then you're not done healing yet from whatever's going on up here. There's still some healing that needs to be done that's blocking your manifestations. And it could be, you know, that you you're attracting these people that are like at a lower emotional intelligence level than you are uh, because maybe you think that you don't deserve anymore so work on that and also with the magician reverse watch out for manipulative energy here this queen of pentacles reverse can be selfish energy so watch out for that and the high priestess secrets okay with the high priestess and the magician reverse here i have to say guys if you are involved with anybody who's into magic protect yourself because they might be a bit of a manipulator all right um if you are listen to your intuition when it comes to what you want to manifest your intuition is trying to talk to you watch for signs and synchronicities okay all right let's get your energy with the different signs guys pisces dealing with other water signs how are you pisces dealing with cancer scorpio or other pisces the Seven of Swords reverse. Somebody's either getting caught doing something or somebody's confessing something. Doesn't have to be anything bad. It can be a confession of feelings, but somebody is confessing or getting caught. Pisces dealing with Earth signs. How are you? King of Wands reverse. There's a lack of motivation, a lack of attraction, and it can also be some insecurity, some jealousy issues. Pisces dealing with fire. Ten of Cups reverse. Dysfunctional home life, lack of harmony within the home, or a breakup. Could be issues with kids as well. Pisces with air signs. Seven of Pentacles. The air signs seem to be doing the best with everybody that I'm reading for this week. I don't know what they're doing, but they seem to be doing really well. Anyway, air sign seven of pentacles. You guys are investing in the connection. You're putting in the work, you know. It's it's happy energy, okay? And it is like one of the most adorable cards I have. I love it so much. Every time I pull it, look how freaking cute. So cute. All right, let's get you yes or no, guys. Are you ready, Pisces? Take a deep breath and focus on your question. Okay, you ready, Pisces? Let's do this. Yes or no for my Pisces friends. Yes or no for Pisces. Six of Swords reversed is a no. I hope you wanted it to be, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I will talk to you in another day or two with your next reading.